Hey y'all, this video is going to be about bleach and why preppers do not want to be storing liquid bleach for any length of time. While of course bleach is great, especially in an emergency if there was a pandemic of some sort or if you needed it to sterilize water, that's fine and good. But what a lot of people don't seem to realize is it has a pretty short shelf life as a disinfectant. When you buy bleach, assuming it was just made that day, it starts off at about 5 to 6 percent chlorine and around three months that starts to degrade. Around six months hospitals are told to replace it if they're mixing it with water and using it to disinfect and for home use Clorox says it's good for about 12 months. Of course if you have really nasty germs the way a hospital would or in a prepping situation where there might be a pandemic you probably don't want to be waiting 12 months. You, you want to make sure whatever you're using works and it's strong and you know what how efficient it's going to be, especially if you had to purify water with it, you're adding a few drops, you don't want it to be too strong, too weak, you need to know exactly what you're dealing with. So as far as can you tell if you do have bleach stored, if it's, if it's still good, it doesn't have an expiration date on it, but it does have a manufacturing date. It's kind of tricky, hard to read, but there should be a number on your bleach bottle, and the number represents um, the plant it's manufactured at, the year it was made, and then the day. So if you're not sure, look that up and you can see how old it is. As far as, uh, it does whiten clothes for quite some time. Um, if it's like older than a year or if it's been stored in a real warm area, it starts to lose its bleach smell, then it's probably not going to be as good at whitening clothes. But, you know, definitely use older stuff for your laundry. Question comes down to, well, what do you store for preps in the event of a disaster or something that's going to last long term? You want to go with crystals instead of the liquid form. And crystals, there's a number of different options. Clorox actually makes crystals um, for laundry, which I think, in my opinion, they're obviously using very diluted crystals because they want you to use a capful for every load of laundry, which has got to be extremely diluted. Um, so I personally would not be choosing that if I was storing it for, for preps. Um, if you go on to eBay, there's a number of sources where you can buy plain bleach powder. Uh, one thing to think about if you are planning that you might have to use it to, to purify water at some point, you probably want to go with the calcium hypochlorite, some of which is sold specifically to purify water, so it's going to have the instructions on how much to use. Like in this case, we're looking at a teaspoon in one gallon of water will make one gallon of bleach. And at that point, you take that bleach and you add it to your drinking water. I've heard some people do use pool shock, which is also crystallized bleach, but you have to be a little bit careful because there's oftentimes other ingredients added into it to prevent algae buildup and things of that nature. So I don't know. I would just rather buy something designed for the purpose and, and go with something that was, you know, like bleach powder or crystals that was designed to, uh, to purify water just to be on the safe side. If you're thinking about pandemics or sanitation, in a long-term grid down situation but other really good cleaners are alcohol you know rubbing alcohol because that does not expire and that makes a very good surface cleaner I actually prefer just to make up my own window cleaner not because I'm super holistic and worried about chemicals so much as it's just so easy and it's so cheap and that formula I found online works so well if anyone's interested it's simply one part vinegar one part rubbing alcohol and one part water mix it up in a spray bottle and it does last weeks months lasts a long time it's also I, I find it to be a great general surface cleaner cleaning up kitchens bathrooms and the like um, it does have alcohol so it should disinfect but of course if you want to use it to kill germs you want to be spraying it and then leaving it and letting it dry because with alcohol if you spray it and wipe it away you might as well be using plain water it needs to dry in place to actually kill any any germs on the surface and the last suggestion, which is uh, particularly good for kitchens, it also works for bathrooms and for um, cleaning vegetables, is vinegar and hydrogen peroxide. Please note it's very important to keep those in two separate spray bottles. Never mix them in the same container because when it mixes, it is going to create parasitic acid, which is not safe. The fumes are bad. It, it could be unstable. Some I've even read it could be somewhat explosive. Um, parasitic acid is sold commercially. It's used a lot in food processing plants and it is used to, to, sterile, to clean the surface of uh, fruits and vegetables. However, the stuff you make up in your kitchen is not going to be nearly as stable. So 
it's it's a great cleaner it's also used for small animal cages and things like that spray one spray the other let it sit and make sure that the uh, hydrogen peroxide is in a dark bottle um, because it, it will go bad with light which is why the original bottles were always darkly colored so there's three ideas if you have ideas that you like to share regarding sanitation methods for an SHTF situation please do share them in your comment section I would love to hear about it um, as always I've got links in the description covering the topics that we just discussed so if you'd like to read the articles just go to the links and last but not least thank you so much for watching stay safe